Oh, there we go, dude. Big fish. I, I need, I need you. Huge fish. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. That's huge. Good morning. It's Shroud Opener in the Upper Peninsula of Michigan. If I sound a little, a little excited, it's because I am. And also a little surprised, it's because I am. We are supposed to have a foot of snow, potentially two feet of snow in the next day or so, starting very soon. Rain, snow, and nastiness. But right now, right now it's beautiful. We got about 42 degrees on trout opener. We, and I say we, I'm with my buddy here, Sean. We are going to try to catch some trout this morning. We'll be tossing spinners, maybe some artificial worms. Uh, nothing, nothing real, just artificials today and everything's going back. Um, there's a grouse that just did its uh, thing in the background. So spring is here in the UP. We're excited. We're gonna get going. Before we jump into the video, please, please, um, please know that I'm, I'm currently on a journey this year of hitting 20,000 subscribers. I'm very close to making that happen. So if you enjoyed this video today, please consider uh, sharing it with a friend, um, liking or subscribing, that would be so cool. Let's get into the video right now. Let's get rolling, guys. A lot of people have this funny idea when I tell them that I consider trout opener to be spring in the UP. And when people think spring, they have this very odd idea of what that actually means. This video right here shows a classic representation of what is not spring in the UP. And now, this. This is much more springy. A fresh beaver cut, brown, dead leaves, and the hint of warmth in the air. Set up your rod? No, I broke off my rod. Failure, my man. Failure. Let's see what you're. Let's see what you're slinging over here. What is that? Is that a treble hook for trout? Mm -hmm. Is that a treble hook? Is that a double treble hook? Savage. More treble. More hooks, the better, right? Wherever we go. It's beautiful. It's so beautiful. The goal for the day was to start at a lake and to push up the river as far as we possibly could. I had a feeling we might find trout, but I never actually knew for sure because I'd never been there before. But I thought, after looking at Google Maps, that I should be able to eventually find trout water. And big spoiler here, we did. We absolutely did. It's beautiful. So beautiful. Are there any trout in here? I don't know. But we're gonna try our best to find out. I know there's suckers in here. I know there's creek chubs in here. 
Make it look like you got a big one. Oh yeah. That's how they fish in Wisconsin. Yeah, I'm out of my element right now. <laughs> Be cool to see a big one come up and hit it. So we came to our first uh, fork here in the day, and uh, we've decided to go to the left. There's current, and uh, current is the number one reason we're going this way, but the second reason we're going this way is that Google Maps says this is the correct way to go. Um, so uh, that way, not so good. This way, home to the big trout. Just another mile or so, and we're gonna be in trout territory. <laughs> Maybe, I have no idea. I have literally no idea if there's any fish in here. How do you know there's trout then? I don't. Yeah. Stupid muck. Ugh. Sand hills are out. Are they by in the sky? Huh? Are they by in the sky? Have you actually ever eaten one? Nope. I've not. But that's what I've heard. Yeah, so have I. I'm thinking we're coming up on a beaver dam. What do you want to bet? I see fall. Beaver dam. So we've been on the water now about an hour and a half. We switched into our rain gear because it got a little bit cold and rainy, but we it stopped for now. We're still paddling up river. Still no sign of any fish, but it's cold enough, it's deep enough, there's cover. Um, we're just trying to figure it out. Looks like right here is a, uh, ooh, a nasty spot. So I'm gonna turn you off while we get through this. This spot's gross, dude. So the goal from the beginning of the day was to travel for a couple of hours upriver and get as far as we could go in the kayaks to what we thought might be trout water. We were looking for rocks, gravel, gradient, and eventually, after a massive amount of tag allers, we got to the promised land. It just took a lot more blood, sweat, and tears than we really had uh, bargained for. All right, let's see what we can do here. Well, that sucked right there. We'll, we'll not go very far. Nice. Very first cast. Are you serious? Jeez. about a nasty week ago. Yeah, all this was underwater probably. Yeah. If 
eventually we made it to some beautiful looking water. You could see the gravel and I kayaked as far as I, as I could. We got out, I switched my bait to a very small Panther Martin and we started to have success nearly immediately. Nice! I'm coming. <clears throat> what? Oh. I had my net at the whole time. Couldn't find it. <sighs> well, I'm here. You saw that? Uh, yeah, that was a fish. Yeah! <laughs> That was a decent one too. He got me under the I got off. Okay. Well. <clears throat> you want to catch a fish. Yeah, well. Trying to make that happen. Let's uh, let's cast from here so we don't have to like right here. There we go. Oh, I had one. I, it's it's off. It's off. There we go. After maybe three, four hours on the water, going multiple miles upriver, I finally hooked into a trout. It spit it, but then it actually followed all the way to the dam I was at. I tried to do a figure eight, didn't get it, and then proceeded to cast again. Uh, what's that law that, you know, anything bad that can happen will happen? The very first trout bite I had, the very next cast, turned into the nastiest snarled line mess I had to deal with. It was raining, it was freezing, and I got super frustrated trying to uh, basically re-rig on top of a beaver dam. And you can kind of see a little bit of my frustration right here. All right, let's catch a fish right here. I turned the camera on. I turned it on. There we go. There we go. Ready, 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 ready. Yes. Oh. Got it. We got one. All right. Trying to. Okay, honey, where are you at? She is like as slippery and wily. Okay, I might need you to bring her up out of the water. There you go. I just want you to chill for half a second. There we go. Thank you, sweetie. Oh, thank you for the net job. Thank you for the net job. There we go. You said it's not that deep. Is it? I'm still going. Oh, I, I'm still. It's still getting deeper. Oh, oh, big one, big one. Uh, at least ten. She hit it three times. Right, 
Oh, there we go. There we go. There we go. Hang on, hang on. Nice. Nice. Whew. Hey, honey. Okay, my fingers are not working super well. That's what I'm feeling. It's inside that little, uh, it's inside that little, uh, pouch under my seat. Oh, there we go, dude, big fish. I, I need, I need you. Huge fish. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, that's huge. Mine was, that one was probably about the size that you caught. Dude, that is a giant brookie. Oh, 12 is right there. 11, well, 13. we'll see. No, there's no way this long. All right. Uh, I'll say I'll say it's 13. Okay, I'll take that. There she goes. Who you? All right, let's. Hey guys, we got a absolute giant brook trout right here. Okay. Can you lift it up the net? Just stunning. She's huge. You can get a rough estimate, get a rough measurement on her. Yeah. Yeah, I'm ready. Hang on, other side. I'll, I'll, I'll show you the other side. Dude, that's a giant brookie. Ready? Yeah. Hold her up a little higher and turn her this way. There you go. All right. Okay. She goes, beautiful. <laughs> good call, good call. All right, hey guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I actually asked my four-year-old what I should say here at the end, and verbatim, she said, River, I love you. So on that note, uh, yes, rivers, I do love them. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. You know, there at the end of the day, we caught four fish really quickly. We had six total bites, and we put a lot of effort into it. The rain started to come down heavy. It started to snow a little bit, and we got so cold, we had to get out of there. So, trout opener, massive success. New body of water, a new adventure, and our spring and summer 
are nearly here. Um, please go ahead and leave a comment down below. Let me know how your trout opener ended up. Did you catch any fish? Did you get out or did you stay at home because the weather was a bit too nasty? All right, guys. Thank you so much. Catch, release, wander. I'll see you in the next one.